Hi everyone, I'm Ellie Jones, Reserves Manager for North Wiltshire at Wiltshire Wildlife Trust. I popped to Lower Moor Farm today to check on health and safety stuff and thought I'd swing by and look at the fritillaries um, and I'm pleased to say that they're actually nearing their peak so I thought I'd give you a virtual tour so that you can see what they look like. I'm currently in a field called Bridgefield which is where one of the most spectacular displays can be found. Um, as you can hopefully see there's a huge number of them out in flower now. Peak flowering does vary. Um, this is rather early, but um, I think we expected that with a reasonably mild and warm spring. Um, the scientific name for fertility uh, means, translates anyway, uh, the fritillus part translates into um, Latin, it refers to a dice box, and the maligris part of the name means speckled like a guinea fowl, and hopefully, oh I don't know if you can see that, can you see that checkerboard patterning? So when they're not introduced, um, you may have seen quite a few flowers like this in gardens, but when they've not been introduced, there are fewer than 30 sites where you can find these in the wild. I'm still unsure whether they're actually native or introduced, but they have huge cultural significance for communities where they're found. Associated more or less exclusively with these lowland floodplain communities. So where you have seasonally flooded land. Can you see here we have a creamy white specimen. Same species, just different colouring. Those typically make up less than 10% of the population, but one of our reserves, Upper Water Hay, um, has about 80% of those flowers um, in the creamy form. They're very early flowering, so they have a key symbiotic relationship with bumblebees. You might see some flying past in a minute but they obviously provide a very early source of pollen and nectar for queen bumblebees when they're emerging from hibernation. So um, they're very, very useful in providing energy sources to help them establish their colonies. Perhaps a common car to be, they're quite gingery. Ooh, there's another one. Let's see if I can get there a bit quicker this time. Oh, fantastic! See that red tailed bumblebee queen? Well, I think my time's running out. Um, I'll just leave you with a beautiful vista out across all these gorgeous nodding heads of the fritillies.